What's up guys, this is Transaron3 coming to you again with another review and today we're taking a look at the new DX9 DO4 armor set for your evasion mode Optimus Prime and there he is in his vehicle mode which I already got two of the pieces already on him but packaging itself is very shiny you can see the little rainbow looking shine to it very nice you got a nice picture of the power master optimus prime look after you add this kit to your evasion mode optimus prime so nothing much going on with the packaging you got dx9 do4 armor cell on the side with optimus prime very nice on the sides coming under the back you got more you got invisible you got couple of the figures from DX9 and it shows you instructions how to put the battle platform on the back of him and it says the strength strength and tech specs all that good stuff right there so enough said open this up and we'll get started on it it does come in a nice little bubble so you see I got Evasion Mode's Prime's head already stuck back in there. Um, he's already applied. You just take a little screwdriver and take the screw out of the back of his head just to replace place the head, which is very simple. And I also added a Reaper label to the armor kit itself. So you get two blasters. You get shoulder pieces with guns. And you get a couple more armor pieces. So the feet itself gets stored in here. And... You get a crotch piece, and you get the gray feet for the Takara version, which comes with the gray feet for the Power Master Optimus Prime over there. Instead of having the blue blue feet here, it's actually the Takara version is actually gray. So we won't be needing those because we got the Hasbro version. So we do get the crotch piece here. Undo all this, and you get two smokestacks. And you get the blasters. See, all this stuff just comes right on out. Set that stuff right off to the side. And here we got all of this awesome stuff to put together. It comes with nice Power Master looking Optimus Prime rifles. Very nice. And they really don't store for this mode, so... You get a wing jetpack. Very nice. So, first of all, we're going to get into the transformation for this. Our, the feet are just clip-on. There's holes underneath of his feet. And they peg in underneath his truck feet. It just pegs in like so. Come on. And this little notch here will get pegged in right here to this wing set like so. This is this whole thing just wraps around. I think I'm doing it opposite direction this time there we go that's the whole problem wrap that around peg this in like so fold that piece down and we got the top section and you can grab the chest piece here and you wanna grab this piece here for the instructions it really don't show you that much on how to do it you just have to make sure your chest piece is like some which way you gotta and this pegs in right on top of here there's two little nudges right here You're supposed to peg in like so it's it does peg in but just don't move it it'll just pop right off so but these shoulder cans itself there's a little peg right here and there's a notch you want to peg this stuff in 
on top of the chest piece. Same thing on this side. Like so. And then you <coughs> set this on here. If you do, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. Just peg that sucker right on there. There we go. And now you grab the crotch piece here itself. This thing here comes to the back. There's two tabs here and here. And there's notches right here and here. Just gets tabbed in on the back of the truck. Gives the truck some tail lights. And you grab these smokestacks. You can peg them in here. Like cat. They're supposed to peg in there like that for the instructions. I really don't like that. You can take them off if you want. And you can see these peg holes are getting stress marks because these pegs are too big for the holes. So if you want to just keep them off the side, that's fine. And the guns, you cannot peg these in here whatsoever, but I've seen how you try to do something with the guns. You can try to fiddle them in there somehow, but there we got his artillery mode in his vehicle mode. Very nice. So, enough said. Unpeg this. All this stuff will fall off. First of all, we're going to get in the transformation of Optimus Prime, so let's. You can transform him with the new feet. You can see the old feet around with the nice panels that comes with it. Transform Optimus Prime here. out there we go arms rotate and you can see his new head in robot mode, vehicle mode you have to spin it around and tuck it down in Fold this stuff on now. And there we have him in his robot mode. So, you can see I had an Autobot logo to my figure itself, which lacked the. didn't even have an Autobot logo for robot mode, but again, what could you do, guys? So, you now said, you can see he got his new feet, gives him a little bit better stance. Let's get back to the thing itself. Now, you want to grab this. Come to the back here this will lock right over top and then these little pegs slide right over top of the existing back section so there's his backpack like so adjust my camera and you grab your shoulder pieces here unpeg them from the chest piece itself and you want to there's this little peg right here and then there's this you know, the hole right here by Optimus Prime's neck, this will peg right in underneath. You just have to give it a little pressure to get it to click in. It will click in. It's a little fidgety at first, but you can get it. We're going to skip that for right now, since it's being a pain in the butt. You want to grab the shoulder pieces. You're going to make sure the black piece is standing straight up. And peg it in to the side of his arm. Because there's that little notch right here. Take the gun off. You can leave the guns on for the Power Master look. 
if you would like so back to the chess piece it's being stubborn today maybe nothing is tabbed in right it should just tab right over top of it there we go I think I got it nope it looks like I got it, but oh, there we go. Finally, after struggling. It does tab in, guys. It does. So, so grab the crotch play here. There's a hole underneath his crotch, which is <laughs> weird. There's this little knob there for the crotch plate. Plug it in, and you get his new crotch plate. So, there it is, all assembled. Very cool. So, without the add-ons, you can put these missiles up here. Use machine gun. A murder. You can put them up there if you like. I'll have them drop these. And you can put the smokestacks on the backpack for jet boosters if you want. Like on the back. You can. Like so. And you can give them those two rifles. And we got his Evasion Mode Optimus Prime head right here. You just take the screw out of the back of this head to replace the new one. So. Take a look at this guy right here close and personal. Very awesome add-on kit. Very nice. So. Gives them more of a G1-ish for it, so, yeah, very nice. So, my flash just went off on my camera, it's being stupid too today. Again, what could you do? But anyway, for a better look, my opinion, you can get rid of all this stuff. Leave one rifle if you really want. Leave these shoulder bits on, I mean take them off, and put these smokestacks there. And then you just plug them in right there. And if you really want, just take his backpack off. Throw it off to the side. Take his chest piece off. And that just gives you a better Optimus Prime look. So. Yeah. So you get a better G1 looking Optimus Prime out of your Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. So, it's a win-win situation. There's a lot of very nice stuff you can do this figure. I highly recommend it, guys. Go pick this thing up. So, I highly recommend it. Peg everything back in. It's, it's a very solid kit. I do highly recommend it. Once again, you can peg this stuff in there. Give them his two rifles. chest piece like so so you know said so this is trans 38 reviewing the new dx9 do4 armor upgrade kit for your evasion mode optimus prime and this is trans 38 talking again don't forget to rate and subscribe and comment on any videos that i do and keep a lookout for new videos headed your way also, check me out on Instagram and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All those good stuff. Don't forget to check out Prime John 1, Mike Mouse 74, Austin Reviews, and more. And also, Cow Pigeon 8. All those links will be down in the description below. So, this is Transaaron38. Talk to you again. Have an awesome day.